Hello everyone. Now I am going to solve a doubt which is asked by Naman from Mumbai, India. Question is, consider the given reaction. Reaction is carbon solid going to react with O2 gives CO2. Kp1 is given 7 by 8. And again, carbon solid reacts with oxygen and gives carbon monoxide gas. Kp2 for this reaction is 12.5 atm. As 100 liter of air having 80% by volume N2 and 20% by volume O2 is passed over excess heated coke to establish this equilibrium. The equilibrium mixture is found to measure 105 liter at constant temperature and pressure. Constant pressure is given 105 atm. Assuming no other reaction, find the sum of partial pressure of carbon monoxide and CO2 in the final equilibrium mixture. So you have to find out the partial pressure by using this equation and the given data. So before going to solve this question, you must know what is the key point of the given reaction. So you have to find out the partial pressure at constant temperature and pressure. So key point for given reaction is at constant temperature and pressure mole fraction is directly proportional to volume fraction. So you have to use this relation and find out the partial pressure which is really equal to mole fraction into total pressure. So total pressure is given 105 atm. You have to find out the mole fraction. So the key point is mole fraction will equal to volume fraction. Now solve this question. Now we are going to solve above question. So from this reaction we, are, we have to find out the partial pressure of CO2 and partial pressure of CO. V total initial is 100 liters which is given and volume of O2 equal to 20 and volume of N2 equal to 80 because 20% is given volume of O2 and N2 is 80% by volume. B total that means final is 105 liter. I'm going to analyze this given reaction. So initially at t equal to 0, the volume of O2 will be 20 and the volume of CO2 will be 0. At a t equilibrium, we are assuming x volume of O2 will react with carbon solid to form CO2. So remaining volume of O2 will be 20 minus x and this will form x volume because molar ratio is 1 is to 1. Now for this reaction t equal to 0, 20 volume and O2 has 0 volume. At a t equilibrium y volume will be react with carbon solid and form CO. So 22y because the molar ratio will be 1 is to 2. So it will give a 2y. And it is the case of simultaneous equilibrium. Therefore, the amount of O2 will be same in both reactions. So you have to make same. So you have to subtract y here. You have to subtract x here. So volume total final will be volume of O2, volume of CO2, volume of you have to use dash, volume of CO plus volume of N2. So volume of N2 dash will be the same as the initial volume. So V total 105 liter will be equal to volume of O2 is so here 20 minus y and 20 minus x but in the case of 
simultaneous equilibrium so you have to make equal both so you have to subtract y here and you have to subtract x here this is the case of simultaneous equilibrium so volume of o2 is 20 minus x minus y volume of co2 is x and volume of co is 2y volume of n2 is 80 so this will be cancelled out and it will give 105 105 This will give 105 equal to 100 plus y implies y equal to 5 liter. So y equal to 5 liter. So we are going to find out the partial pressure of CO2. Partial pressure of CO2 will be equal to mole fraction of CO2 into P total and as we know that the mole fraction of CO2 will be equal to volume fraction so volume fraction is given x is the given volume and total volume is 105 so you have to multiply by 105 into total pressure is 105 which will be equal to x 18. Partial pressure of CO will be mole fraction of CO into PT and mole fraction of CO will be equal to volume fraction. So volume pressure of CO will be vol given volume of CO is 2y and total volume is 105 and total pressure is 105 so it will equal to 2y 18. And partial pressure of O2 equal to mole fraction of O2 into Pt. And partial pressure of mole fraction of O2 will be equal to, so volume, volume fraction. The volume of O2 is 20 minus x minus y divided by 105 into 105 which will be equal to 20 minus x minus y atm so we can you can use it as a 15 minus x now from given equation you can write a kp1 equal to partial pressure of CO2 divided by partial pressure of O2 and this, it is given that 7 by 8 equal to partial pressure of CO2 is x x by 15 minus x implies 7 15 minus x equal to 8x which will give which will give the value of x is 7 so now partial pressure of co2 will be 7 atm partial pressure of co will be 2y that is 10 atm therefore the sum of the partial pressure of co plus co2 will be 7 plus 10 that is 17 atm so Finally, you get the sum of the partial pressure of CO and CO2 will be 7 plus 10 at the 20 atm. 
so this is the important here the mole fraction of will be the volume fraction this is the important concept for the given question thank you for watching my video and all the best for your examination